What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about a new series called React JS. And yes, yes, it's pretty exciting stuff guys. I'm pretty sure some people were waiting for this. And here it is, a series on React JS. And in this series we are going to be using Redux and Firebase. Pretty amazing technologies we're going to be using in this series and learning as well. And it, this series is going to be in the same style as my previous series of Node.js for beginners. So if you like that style, the way I did that series, then you're going to like this series as well. Even though there are going to be different things that I might include or dis not include. But yeah, it's going to be in the same style. And in this video, guys, I just want I just wanted to introduce you to what we're going to be learning in this series. And also, uh, what do you actually need to get started? And I'm pretty sure everybody has the things... Uh, that you have that you need so first of all we need a text editor i'm going to be using visual studio and the only reason i'm using it even though if you've been in my channel adam is my primary text editor but I'm, I'm going to be using visual studio because i want you guys to actually learn a new tool it's not necessary guys if you want to use your old text editor go ahead and use it it does not matter um, but like I said, I, want, I just want you guys to dip your toes in new tools to use or learn at least. Next up, Node.js, pretty much a staple from here, from this channel anyways. It's pretty much a staple. So yeah, I have Node.js installed. And Yarn. Yarn is a dependency manager uh, created by Facebook. Also, it's an NPM. Is NPM. No, no. Uh, it's almost exactly the same as NPM which npm is a package manager it differs from a dependency well, it's not really that much of a difference guys as a dependency manager um but yeah we are using yarn uh like i said if you do want to use npm continue using npm i just want you guys to learn a new tool or technology um which is yarn it's not it's exactly the same thing almost exactly the same thing there are disadvantages and advantages advantages between the two you might want to look, look into that uh but yeah, in this video series, we're going to be using Yarn and Visual Studio Code. So, those are the only differences. But guys, that is it for this video. Please consider subscribing if you have not. Leave a comment down below on what do you want to see in this series. I do have already a list of things that I'm going to be doing. So, if you leave a comment down below what do you want to see, then I might be able to make a video off of that topic so just yeah, just comment down below what you might want to see. And also, like it or dislike it, it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this video to help you guys out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.